Once again, we're experiencing a major conflict of our time. And when you look back in history at some of the major conflicts, this is no Greece and Troy or Rome and Carthage or Yorks and Tudors. And if you look at literature, the drama that comes with Cain and Abel, or the Montagues and the Capulets, or even Sherlock Holmes and Professor Moriarty. This supersedes all of that. I'm of course talking about Yanni and Laurel. You've heard it, or perhaps more appropriately, you've only heard one of them. And therein lies the great debate. I'd like to talk with you about perspective and binary choices and what it means for us as a society in the Full Monty. Welcome to the Full Monty. With so much information constantly churning, it's easy to lose focus. This is the show that cuts through the clutter to provide you with insight and perspective on some of the most pressing issues of the day. And now, here's your host, Scott Monty. Well, hi, and welcome to the Full Monty. I'm the aforementioned Scott Monty. It's good to be with you here. So, undoubtedly, you have been part of the Yanni and Laurel debate. If you haven't, just Google it or go to Twitter. It is all the rage right now. And if you recall, the last kind of debate that we had along these lines. It was the blue dress, or perhaps it was the white dress, depending on how you look at it. And in case you're not familiar with Yanni and Laurel, what this basically is, is an audio file that it's played, and when one listens to it, you hear a certain name, you hear Yanni or Laurel. In some cases, people first heard Yanni, and then they heard Laurel. Uh, this is the latest in the series of things that people like to debate about. It seems like that's one of the reasons that the Internet was invented in the first place, was to allow people to have this kind of discourse. And as you could see from the examples that I shared at the beginning of the show, conflict and battling for supremacy are nothing new. This is something that humankind has been engaged in since our very earliest times. But I don't want to focus on the gory and the political and the, the more horrific kinds of conflict that we've had over the course of human history. I'd like to focus on perhaps more of the lighthearted. And that's why the mention of the blue dress and, of course, Yanni and Laurel. Why do we do this? Why do human beings look for one answer versus the other? Why do we think in binary, in black and white, when perhaps in some cases there are nuances? Well, I think it just goes to human nature, the desire to be right, or at least the desire to share one's viewpoint with other people. You know, when we can find that common ground, when we can find the ability for others to say, I get what you're saying. I've told all my colleagues here about the same thing. They don't believe me, but finally I've identified someone else who understands what I'm talking about. And whether you're talking about lighthearted Internet memes, whether you're talking about uh, perhaps religious or political squabbles, ethics debates, uh, or perhaps an issue right within your own company where you see things a certain way and you know you're right but there's another opinion perhaps it's a higher paid opinion so what do you do you look for validation as we all do as human beings we look for other people to tell us it's okay you're right I understand you I understand the challenges that you're up against so I think we're going to continue to see this kind of spirited debate. You know, when, it, when you think about, say, let, let's use one of those old examples, the Romans, and how they had battles for public entertainment in the Colosseum in the late Republic. Well, 
what did they do? They pitted man against beast. They pitted gladiator against gladiator. They even had mock naval battles, one side versus the other, but it was always binary. It was always those two. And you were rooting for your winner. It's the same thing we have in sports today. You know, you've got to pick a winner, and it's always one team against another, one athlete against another. And it's exactly where we've landed in politics as well, my side versus your side, when in fact, maybe it isn't just one or the other. You know, binary choices are important when it comes to decision-making, when you need to do one thing or the other. When it comes to observing, when it comes to looking at the array of choices that are out there, it may not be binary in what you're thinking or what you're seeing. And that brings us back to some of these lighter-hearted debates that we've seen, the, the white dress or blue dress, the Yanni versus Laurel. And we realize we're both correct. We're all correct. Whatever it is we're perceiving, it actually is right. The whole thing with Yanni and Laurel is it's a matter of audio tones. It's a matter of hearing the low level versus the higher level. And if you subscribe to the Full Monty podcast, in the very last episode, I talked about my own hearing difficulties, difficulty hearing kind of the higher register, which was interesting because when I turned on that Yanni and Laurel recording, I first heard Yanni. And now I can only hear Laurel. You know, remember those images that uh, used to be around when we were kids? Maybe it was the vase and the two faces. Remember that? Or maybe it was the other one. It was the old lady versus the young lady. Right? The thing with those is, when you first went into that image, when you first saw it, you were fixed to seeing something. Right? Whether it was the old lady or the young lady, for example. But then, if you changed your perspective just a little bit, if you change the way you look at it, if you approached it from a different angle, if you focused on something different, you could see something else within that image. And I think it's the same thing in the conflicts we might have in the workplace. It's a matter of changing your perspective, changing your focus, changing the angle at which you look at things that will allow you to understand exactly what it is that your colleague or your boss is trying to convey. And again, it isn't necessarily a binary thing where it's one or the other. There's so many nuances to life around us. But when we reduce it to two, just two things to decide between, it becomes that much easier. I'll leave you with one final conundrum that seems to really capture everyone's attention. Well, you've heard lately, um, do you sleep with a top sheet or not? Uh, there, there have been others. Do you keep your butter in the refrigerator or do you keep it out on the counter? And the perennial, toilet paper. Of course, toilet paper. You go over or under with your roll? Well, I know, that's a very personal choice, just like the butter and uh, just like the top sheet. But I'm here to tell you, believe it or not, there is an answer to the toilet paper conundrum. And that is, it must be placed over. Absolutely. First of all, if you look at hospitals, it's a health risk. They don't want the toilet paper close to the wall where there may be more germs. But secondly, and this is where I'm going to lay down my checkmate, how is the hotel supposed to fold it into that nice little triangle if it's folded under? I rest my case. So long.